Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center and welcome to Knife AQ episode 141 of the series where I answer all your questions sharp and dull. This week I want you to think of the coolest baby that you know. And wouldn't they be just a little bit cooler if they had a knife? Do, do, do. Da -da. Okay, everybody, here is the deal with this FAQ video series, if you're unfamiliar with it, of course. We answer questions that have been left in the comment sections below these videos. So if you've got one, a knife question that is, uh, and you think it might be worthy of inclusion in a future episode, please drop it in the comments below, even if you don't think it'd be worthy of inclusion. We might have a different uh, difference of opinion there. Drop your questions down below. Uh, first question today comes from Chris Hatton 865. Uh, hi DCA. So me and my five-year-old daughter watch your show every week since she was born. Didn't start again. This warms my heart. Uh, she has been asking for her own knife so she can watch the show whilst holding hers. I want to be a responsible father and wondered what you would recommend for her first folding knife. The only thing she requests is it's small and cute, preferably with a pink handle. Look forward to hearing your suggestions. Keep up the great work supporting from Great Britain. All right, we'll start here, of course, uh, by addressing the question that uh, some folks uh, invariably ask whenever we talk about kids and knives is, how young is, is too young? Uh, to have a knife or what's the appropriate age to introduce your kid to knives? Uh, and the simple answer is there is no simple answer there. Uh, there's no kind of blanket number that's going to you know, be appropriate for every kid out there. Only you know your kid best and you know whether or not they're gonna be ready for this sort of thing. So I trust that you're you know, coming at it from the right headspace. If anyone else out there is thinking, oh, five years old is too young, I would say, you're not this kid's parent. I think this parent knows what they're doing. At least I'm gonna trust that this kid's parent knows what they're doing. Um, so, I do have a couple suggestions. Um, because you said you're from Great Britain, uh, immediately that kind of helps me narrow things way down because Great Britain, non-locking is gonna be the way to go. Uh, and we do have a couple of uh, things here I think might be interesting. And yes, I trust your, uh, you know, while watching these videos of me talking about knives, and with the, uh, the daughter with a knife, you're gonna be supervising her and making sure she's not being dumb. So again, these are all assumptions we're going to make so we can move on. <laughs> uh, the Spyderco Squeak could be a really cool little option. It's about 70 bucks. Two inch injection molded handle, nice pink color, made in Italy with N690 CO steel, two inches long. A Little bit of safety there as the kiddo gets older and uh, actually starts using this a little bit more uh, because there's no lock at least you have that finger choil there for the grip, which will stop the blade from moving if it does happen to pop loose of the slip joint mechanism. Nice deep carry pocket clip for keeping things subtle and out of the way too. That could be a really sweet option. Something else that could be really cool and uh, really useful as she gets older too, uh, is a nice Swiss Army knife like the Victorinox Classic in, you're gonna love the, the name of this color, the translucent pink here is called Cupcake Dream. Come on. And it comes with those nice little essentials. You've got a small pen blade, you've got the nail fi file with the small flathead screwdriver at the top, hence the SD in classic SD, and small pair of scissors and toothpick and tweezers, and a very, very cool color. There's also a non, uh, non-translucent pink option, but come on, the, the jewel-like quality of this is just pretty, pretty darn sweet. And they're inexpensive too, like $22 for uh, these translucent ones. Another cool little accessory that you could get are these little silicone covers that you can slide these knives into. And they, uh, they do make a pink one. We just didn't happen to uh, have one on the shelf on filming day here. And I promise this is easier than I'm making it look right now. There you go. Of course, they're slightly larger than average hands. <laughs> yes, indeed. They do make a pink one. It's uh, with a little unicorn uh, bits and bobs, friends from Great Britain, uh, sticking out the side. That's the, uh, the cherry blossom color, technically. This one right here uh, is the sunny side crown version. These are like 12 bucks and just plain fun, don't you think? I do indeed. So there are some things you could check out right there. Sorry that uh, living in the UK that 
you know, non-locking is kind of what you're relegated to being able to carry, but at least there are some, uh, some okay options for you out there. Thanks for the question. Uh, actually, this brings me, before I get into the next question, uh, I wanna lay a little bit of uh, kind of background uh, groundwork, essentially. Uh, and it's kind of gonna inform this first question too. One of the things that I think I see people making the, uh, the mistake of when, you know, imagining this, you know, the, what's the appropriate knife for uh, the smaller handed and developing kids uh, out there is to go too small with a thing. Um, the problem with that is oftentimes, I use the word, you know, developing there, you know, kids' bodies are still growing, muscles are changing, you know, developing. And things that are a little more fiddly, a little smaller can sometimes be actually harder to grasp than something you might think is too big for the person. I wanna show you something here a really cool option, I think, for you know younger hands out there that will still be useful as they get older. That's the Mora Eldris right here. It has a very meaty handle that small hands are going to be able to use. It's got enough to wrap around where it's not this shrimpy thing. You think, oh, get a small knife for the small hand. The bigger thing is going to be easier to control. The other cool thing you can do with an Eldris is you can take the sheath and give it even more handle length essentially right there. So that's always an option. Now I realize that classic SD that I just showed violates this principle of uh, you know, having something, you know, giving something that has enough to hold onto for smaller hands. So keep that in mind before making that choice. I'd say the squeak, pardon the, uh, the dad joke pun here, kind of squeaks in uh, just on the right side of, of having enough handle, I think. It's not super long, but it's kind of long enough and it has enough height to the shape as well that it's enough to give a fairly full feeling grip even for my slightly larger than average hands and should offer enough of a uh, surface area for smaller and still developing hands to manipulate easily enough, I think. I'm not a uh, podiatrist or a pediatrician for that matter. Or any kind of doctor. <laughs> Not a doctor, that's correct. Um, but that's also going to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to bring this up in relation to the question I'm about to read, which is why I wanted to kind of lay the groundwork first. Question is from Brian Matthews, 3450. Hey DCA, I am looking for a knife to celebrate the birth of my first child. Congratulations, man. Uh, I want to use it for EDC, but also want to pass it down. I'm stuck between the Para 3 Lightweight and the Dragonfly. I think the Para 3 is better for EDC, but the Dragonfly makes a better first knife. Which would you pick or other options, but it's gotta be a Spyderco. Thanks. Well, as mentioned, uh, congratulations to you right there. And I'm gonna assume, based on the choices you're picking here, uh, saying you want to uh, pass it down, um, it's not a, a like heirloom quality thing that you're going to be passing down once you pass on um, or as you're getting closer to passing on because you mentioned it as you know being a first knife for the kid. That's where I think the Dragonfly, as awesome of a knife as it is, and it truly is, might have uh, might not have enough handle or be a little too fiddly in its ergonomics to make a great first knife, depending on when, uh, what age you introduce this as a first knife. The ergonomics of it are quite nice. It, it points forward, you can manipulate it pretty well, but it is a little less natural in terms of you know, developing hands, a little less natural in terms of any hands, quite honestly. Um, it's more highly specialized and maybe a little too fiddly for a first knife, for a kid anyway. So between the two, I would probably go with the Para 3 Lightweight. Yes, they're a little bit more expensive, uh, you know, about $125 or so for the uh, the base models uh, with the BD-1 steel, or you can get the uh, Particle Spy 27 here for about $150, not a huge jump up. And this actually has some things that I like when I consider like, you know, best knives for kids. We actually did a, a video on this subject. We'll leave a link to it up there in the corner if you wanna check out more of my thoughts on it. But you've got, you know, enough blade to get some real work done without it being too big you know, say a nice manageable size. You've got a slightly bigger handle or a big enough handle that, you know, 
you've got plenty of grip, a lot to hold on to there. It also has some finger protection in the form of the, uh, the small guard here to keep uh, things from you know, sliding forward on the edge too readily. I always appreciate that on a, uh, a beginner knife. I think it's quite important. You may uh, agree or disagree uh, out there, but it's my opinion anyway. The one area where this kind of goes against my general um, you know, list of things I look for for first kids knives is the specific type of lock right here. It is a one hand usable lock. And even though I call it finger safe, uh, the style of lock that allows you to close it without your fingers getting in the way of the edge itself. I actually prefer something that is, you know, a decidedly two hand unlocking knife for a first knife. Yes, you can do that, of course, with the para three, and you could instruct your kid to close it like that. But the fact remains, you know, one hand closing, I like to stick a little more to the fundamentals for that first knife. And for that reason, because you said it had to be a Spyderco, similar size, check out the Delica. Here it is right here. A lot of the same good stuff uh, from the Para 3. You've got about a three inch blade, very useful size, but not too big. Great geometry as well for all sorts of different things. You've got plenty of traction with the FRN handles here and that bit of finger guard that I think is very important enough handle length there for the types of hands we've been talking about and that two hand opening liner lock. It just requires you to use a more deliberate closing action when you're doing it. Yes, I know there are still ways to close this with one hand, but if they're doing that, they're going to be, uh, you know, pushing the boundaries anyway, they'll figure it out if they cut themselves doing that sort of thing. That could be a really good choice. And this one right here actually uh, bring, gives me a good opportunity to mention that this brown one is discontinued and on sale right now for about 65 bucks. Uh, and I think we still have a few of them left at that price. Normal price on a Delic is about $88. Uh, so you, good chance to snag a deal. And we've got a lot of uh, discontinued spider codes that we were able to get more quantity of, not just the Delica. So we'll make sure to leave a link to all of the uh, Spyderco knives that are on closeout right now in the description below. Some good deals to be had, not just on the Delica. I will give you one more option, uh, lest we be accused of this being just a Spyderco video because we've got a lot of Spydercos so far. And even though you requested it has to be a Spyderco, I'll throw you a, a dark horse suggestion right here. Since you're, you know, talking about knives that, you know, let's see what the, the Dragonfly costs about uh, $73, the Para 3 Lightweight costs 125. This is uh, in between the two price-wise. The Buck 112 Slim Ranger Pro TRX S30V blade. I'm trying to get all the title, all the honorifics in it. Really cool US made knife, about a three inch blade. S30V steel, like I mentioned, enough handle length right there. To me, there's maybe something a little romanticized about the idea of you know handing down a buck knife or even a case knife more so than a Spyderco knife. Your mileage may vary. That's uh, that's just sort of a, an internalized thing perhaps, but you've got enough handle length there and it's a little bit slimmer here, but you have your finger guard, you have two hand closing as the, uh, the primary way. And this one is harder to close one handed than the uh, mid mounted lockback of the Delica and its ilk. So check that one out too. That could be a really sweet option. All right, now we come to the segment that we call measured once cut twice, where we take a second slice at a previously uh, addressed topic. The first uh, is Ojin Matic, who is replying to uh, the new knives of the week video from last week, uh, where I showed the Cold Steel Republic. And even though I don't have uh, one of those knives, it had a sheath like this with two slots inside uh, the, uh, strip of leather right here. Uh, who's, and, and I didn't know what they were quite for, even though you see them on occasion and it never crossed my mind to ask myself, hey, what are those used for? But Ojin Matic set me straight, uh, a couple people did actually. The two slots in the belt loop of the sheath allow you to straddle it around a belt loop on your jeans so it stays put. Once you look at it that way, it seems mighty obvious and it seems like I should have figured that out, but Cool thing is there's always something new to learn, even if it's something that should be pretty basic and I should have probably already known by now. But yeah, that makes a 
ton of sense. Thread your belt through here, wrap it then around your belt loop and then back in. These fingers represent belts right here. <laughs> That's cool. Very uh, simple, very elegant feature. So if you, if you like me, were curious, that's what that's for. Uh, but now we come to our lightning round for today. First question comes from Mr. Martin 28. Best baby announcement knife ideas. It's gotta be something that there's multiple sizes in a series, I think. And because baby's in the name, find yourself a photographer, show her the baby banter, and then do something with that and the rest of the banter family. You can set up a nice little uh, still life with these bad boys. Talk to bunch. Be saying what is up guys in no time. Actually, the other cool thing you could do with that, I just thought of this, is if there's different sizes in a series as well as different colors, if you're able to do it so that, you know, the, the baby knife in the picture is the combination of the other two colors, now we're, now we're back to Spyderco again. Cause you could do like Endura, Delica, Dragonfly, mix, <laughs> mix the color. Cause they've got plenty of colors to choose from. Eh, it would work. But then we have more Spydercos in this video and there'd be way too many Spydercos in one video. Um, and some people would get, would uh, get angry about that. But you know what? It's the internet. People are going to get angry anyway. Next question's from Jamie Paradise. Uh, what knife would you recommend for a lunchbox and slicing avocados, grapefruit, and the like. I'm a teacher of 11 and 12 year olds, and when I pull it out, if the kids are impressed and I seem cool, they are slightly easier to teach. Uh, and please don't show me the mermaid knife. I wouldn't do such a thing. I would never dream of it. Um, this is what you want right now, right here. Uh, they make plain edged and serrated versions and different colors of it. The Victorinox Swiss Army Swiss Classic Foldable Pairing Knife for about $24. 4.3 inch blade, rounded tip. I think uh, especially a nice thing to have in your specific situation. I like the plain edge, but it's a nice and thin blade. Very slicey is gonna handle that sort of just basic everyday stuff quite easily. You could probably get away with a, with a plastic knife, plastic serrated knife, quite honestly. Uh, but I understand what you're, uh, what you're asking for here. It is locking. You have a little bit of safety right there. Going to be fairly simple to maintain, I would think. Uh, based on its just simplicity of construction. Very easy to clean out, quite effective. And this is a lightning round, so that's all I'm gonna say about that. Which brings us, of course, to our final question of the day, which is our most serious question of the day, which comes from Bryant Pham. What knife would be the best example of a dad joke? Well, I already made a dad joke with a knife here earlier, uh, so I'm gonna have to dig for this one. I mean, Something like uh, this Kubasek Creditor uh, is a great one-liner, but I really can't give you a great answer. But in the end, you're gonna know it when you see it, because it'll be apparent. And that's all the time we have for today. Keep leaving me your questions in the comments. Leave me your most serious questions as well, because we have a lot of fun answering those especially. Let me know what you thought of the answers. If you have some alternate suggestions for anyone here today, make sure to leave those down below as well. And if you want to get your hands on any of these knives, check out the links in the description to take you to knifecenter.com. And don't forget, of course, about our long running knife rewards program, allowing you to earn money towards a future knife when you buy one of these knives today. You can earn up to 5% or even more on double points items if you save your points up for the highest tier. I'm David C. Anderson from the Knife Center, and that's Thomas behind the camera. We're signing off. See you next time.